Good morning. Hi guys, it's me, Ani. How are you? Today I'm introducing viewer takeover from PSVR without parole. If you have not subscribed to these beautiful people, do it now! <laughs> these guys are fantastic. They know everything about PSVR and they're going to answer all your questions. So make sure you tune in every single week and enjoy the show! This is Viewer Takeover, where we film super duper late, like way too late, every Tuesday night, and then we bring it to YouTube <laughs> way too early every Wednesday morning. It's morning for me, it's not morning for most people. Uh, though I guess if you live in California, possibly. What's west of California? As always, I'm Brian Paul, and this is Desra Strange, uh, and we're here to answer all of your questions. Make sure you put hashtag Viewer Takeover anywhere where you want to participate. I was just fooling, not really that sleepy. It's pretty late. This I'm is the, worse. This is the fourth <laughs> thing we've filmed tonight. <laughs> Woo! Fourth. Yep. Yeah. Nine uh, times. So this is Viewer Takeover, uh, and we want to thank, right away, we want to thank uh, Dane Kelly from uh, Danish Gaming. Yes. Uh, for that, I mean, ridiculously over-the-top introduction. Wonderfully over-the-top, and actually not a bad uh, Arnold impression. Not too bad. Pretty good. So, yeah. Although you have a little advantage, right? Isn't he actually? Is he actually Danish? I have no idea. I, I, I always assume so, but now I'm questioning everything. That's the motto of the channel: question <laughs> everything. Uh, so thank you so much. And if you, you out there, I'm looking at you. If you want to introduce next week's viewer takeover, um, I, I don't think you can. But maybe the week after that, <laughs> uh, send your short, sweet, sexy, seductive, psychopathic. Mostly short though. Mostly psychopathic. <laughs> uh, your, send your video to withoutparole at gmail.com. Make sure it fits in our inbox because it's a Gmail account. I ran out of room in my Gmail account. Oh, I didn't realize really? that was a thing. Wow. Yeah, I have lots and lots of emails. I start deleting some stuff Oh, there. I deleted a lot of stuff. They're like, <laughs> you can't accept any more emails. I was like, that's probably going to be a problem. I, the, the mind boggles. It's boggling. That's, wow. It's like 15 gig of emails. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, so, but uh, Dane Kelly isn't the only person we want to thank this week. This week is he does. No, we want to thank these lovely people down here. These people down here, the people who went to patreon.com slash without parole. Games. And they're the ones giving us a dollar or more every single month. Uh, if you don't know what we do over there, A, we take all your money. Uh, <laughs> and B, we also give you, uh, in return, a little backstage pass, uh, something yeah. called the litter box. To be fair, not all of your money, just the money you're willing to give us. It's not like you give us your patreon your information we just like drain your accounts one day does one day one day <laughs> we give, give you something called the litter box so uh, which is uh we just kind of talk about something that's on our mind that doesn't really fit with the channel so much uh so uh what, what do we talk about uh this week we talked about rumors rumors Play, playstation 5 rumors really yeah oh well, i was gonna try to leave it a little more open ended so people like oh rumors i wonder if i know it oh uh, well you know yeah. if you're curious about <laughs> playstation 5 rumors head on over to patreon.com slash without parole games give us a dollar or more every single month i promise you it's only a dollar to you but it adds up for us and it keeps the channel running strangely enough the patreon supporters are not the only people we want to thank this week no there are some fantastic people who decided to uh, help support the channel in another way by spreading the good word by changing their names on youtube um you know it's something really simple really quick and easy you can do that'll get people asking about why did you change your name bob um because the game cats are the loyalist supporters of Without Parole. Yes. And so if you change your name to anything GameCat related or GameCat adjacent, we'll love you forever. Yes. Which is kind of ridiculous because I already do love them. Or at least until you change your name back. True. Yeah. Uh, so many people have. <laughs> like they get, they're like, I got my shout out. I'm out of here. Yeah. Hmm. Which, hey, uh, but at least you did it for a little while. So, so, so we'll who changed your name this week? So this week we have Saleya the, Dan Saleya the Game Cat. Uh, shout out to Saleya, um, who realized, as we say every week, Yeah. That this changes your name all through YouTube. Yes. Uh, so Celia made a new account so that oh, they're, they're, so that well, there you go. Still participate. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, we also have Void Cat, the game citizen. I don't know why I never thought I would ever see Void Citizen change his yeah, name. That's yeah. Or well, because it was name. such a cool name. Yeah, I don't know. Just, citizen. It was just uh, one of those things where I was like, I, I don't even know if you like us. <laughs> and then one day, boom, there it was. Thank Yay. you so much. And now we have. I'm gonna go for Game Cat Eight. So this is this is the this is the or, funniest one on the list. Or Con Cat Eight. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So this, no. Uh, so this is the funniest one on the list okay. because uh, Game Cat Eight had never commented on our channel before mm -hmm. uh, until last night. Okay. 
and I was like, this is interesting. Usually I know who somebody is when they change their name. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a name I recognize or it's at least a little profile image I recognize. Sure. And then suddenly it says GameCat. I'm like, oh, hey, thanks for changing your name. Right. This was just GameCat 8. And I was like, I've never seen you before. Hmm. And so I said, is, did you change your name to GameCat or is it just a coincidence? Yeah. It's like, oh, no, it's just a coincidence. And oh. I was like, well, we're giving you a shout out anyway. That's awesome. Because this is the first GameCat, like, yeah. literally GameCat coincidence ever. That's awesome. So, hey. That's true. Yeah. All right, but we, or actually, the the eighth game cat. True, also true. <laughs> uh, so, but in, and if you do change your name uh, to show your support for the channel, make sure you put hashtag game cat, all one word, somewhere in the comments so we can find it when I search, uh, and then we'll give you a shout out on next week's show. And also, mm. uh, what we do here really is on viewer takeover is well, yeah, answer your questions and comments sometimes. Yes. Sometimes there's no question marks and we just respond to them anyway. <laughs> um, so if you want yours read, make sure you either join us over on our Discord server, which the link's in the description, mm -hmm. and leave your viewer takeover comment there. Or underneath any of our videos, just put hashtag viewer takeover, again, all one word so I can find it, uh, and then leave your question or comment. Starting off this week, this week with Billy Paw uh, from the Breaking News segment. Boy, glad Breaking News segments are back. Right. <laughs> he writes, hashtag viewer takeover. Hey, guys. Hey, there's, there's a huge PlayStation VR sale happening right now on the PlayStation Store. Yes. Are there any must-haves or games that you can recommend at their new low prices? Yes. Thanks. Yes. There's so many games on sale right now. Yeah, it's it's incredible. Um, I figured so, maybe we could each pick three-ish okay, to recommend. Right. So right off the bat, first one to go for is Bridge Crew. It's uh, $11.99 right now. Do we know, is that just for the, the base game or is that with the DLC? That's an excellent question. Yeah. Uh, this is discounted from forty dollars, so I'm going to assume it does not include the DLC. Okay. Uh, also, these are PlayStation Plus prices. Yes. So yeah. We're not you, quite you should be getting the PlayStation Plus anyways. It's totally. At this yeah, point, yeah. in a sale like this, it pays for itself. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's so much fun to be had in Star Trek. Even if you're not like a huge Trek fan, it's just the multiplayer community is. I would say 99.9% .9 amazing. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while you get some little jerk, but you can, you know, boot them. Um, you know, it's 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 just a fantastic game. Um, it works really easy. It's, it's easy to jump into. And, and it yeah. made our top 20 list. Number 20, in fact. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, that's a definite for me. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go uh, with with a video that we just talked, or a game that we just talked about recently, mm -hmm. uh, earlier today. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's catch and release. Ah, catch and release uh, is twenty dollars. It is. It, it's also on our top twenty list. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's just you on a lake. Uh, it's uh, just you fishing. Uh, it's yep. one of the coolest fishing games I've ever played. It's just a cool place to hang out, relax, enjoy. Um, just like some serenity, some relaxation, some nice music, catching fish. And it's for twenty dollars. I thought it was an absolute steal. But for eleven dollars, yeah, no, just get it. Yeah. Uh, or, or just buy your friend a copy of Bridge Crew. So you can play together. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you going to recommend? Uh, so I'm actually going to uh, um, jump ahead and... Gee, that's an excellent idea. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so Racket Fury, uh, a game I actually reviewed uh, a little while ago. We're still waiting on the multiplayer DLC or upgrade or whatever you want to call it. Uh, still hasn't come yet, but you know yeah, it's been in Sony certification forever, like yeah. literally two months now. Yeah. So hopefully we'll hear something soon. Um, but I mean, at twelve bucks, it's going to be a great price, and you'll be able to you know get a handle on it and get it going before the multiplayer starts. It's just, its physics are frighteningly good. I still haven't gotten like per, you know I I said like during the viewing around like I was trying to find a professional ping pong player to give it a try to actually see if my kind of feelings about it were right but either way at 12 bucks I, I think that's actually probably closer to the right price for this i thought you were, i thought you were gonna say and i found one and he was absolutely in love with it no not yet uh this is this is going to be a little more divisive than yours uh this is mm. the kona vr bundle okay so kona was a flat screen game a, a non-vr game that got the that got the vr patch yeah um and they charged you i think an extra six bucks i think for the patch mm -hmm. so it was like a 20 dollars game plus six bucks uh so for 26 bucks you got like a pretty decent length um, game crafting, mystery, uh, exploration, adventure. Uh, very cool, small little open world. We have to drive a truck and a snowmobile around. It's very yeah, cool. right. I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, the, the divisive part of this uh, is that <clears throat> it's blurry as hell. 
Uh, like, I mean, really, really blurry. This looks like worse than the launch titles. Uh, you can just tell that they were like, how low do we have to re- drop the resolution to smash this into VR? And they yeah. said, a lot. And they really said, low. Do it. <laughs> uh, and so, but but the fact is that, like, I wouldn't play this on a flat screen. Yeah. But in VR, I'm like, oh, man, there's something very cool about it. And the story is awesome. It gets a little X-Files-like. And uh, so this is the bundle. This includes the uh, the $20. It's 20 or 15 Either way, it includes the game and the patch, all for $8. Well, yeah, that's hard to go wrong with eight bucks. Um, And for my next one, I'm going to a game that you should have already, but if for some reason you don't, uh, Static. Oh yeah, it's only eight dollars. Seven or yeah, I'm sorry, six dollars, six dollars, five ninety nine. Holy crap! If you have a PlayStation VR and you don't have this game yet, you need to just sit and think about the choices you've made. Um, But. If you have made those bad choices, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Five ninety nine. There is way more than six dollars of value in this game. Uh, yes, you need to pick this up. I'm having a hard time deciding on my last one. Yeah. Uh, this is so tough. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one that is a is a Brian Paul special. Yeah. Because uh, I could I could recommend Blasters of the Universe or like Marvels sure. or something. But like, but here's <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh, I love scary games mm-hmm. and Paranormal Activity to me always felt a little overpriced. Because yep. it was like 30 bucks. Yeah. And it's like a three hour game at best. Yeah. Like some people are like, oh, I blasted through it in 90 minutes. It's shorter than the movie. Yeah. Um, it, but it's a it's a great 90 minutes or three hours, depending on how long you take. Um, and I think for $15, mm. it's just more reasonably priced now. Sure. Um, so it's a lot of fun. It The controls are garbage, but you will get used to them just like anything else. <laughs> uh, play standing up, uh, as Dylan Gladstone recently said, play standing yeah. up and play with move controllers and you'll be okay. I, I just want to put a little addition onto this. You know, we're talking about all, all these great opportunities to, you know, make, you know, save some money. Zing is on this list. Yeah. As a personal favorite, don't buy this on sale. <laughs> okay. So, honestly, I know it sounds weird, but, you know, they're a super small development team and they made this amazing game. And, you know, I want to see them succeed. I want to see what else is going to come next. So, you know what? Yeah. 20, $20 for Zing is already highway robbery. Yeah. Uh, and $13 on sale. Yeah, yeah. Just just wait and give them the extra. This, seven is, bucks. this is a game that if it was a like a, a large developer, they would have charged forty bucks for this. Oh, absolutely. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. It, it feels like a forty dollar game. Yeah. And so like like Brian said, this, they're already like screwing themselves out of so much money, and now there's the sale going on. Just wait till the sale and go buy it at full price. I know it sounds insane coming from like uh, me, a cheap gamer, but they deserve more. Yeah, these are good people too. Yeah. We, we, yeah. we interviewed them and they're super nice. All right, next question. You're up, Asia. All right, from Aceville on the Discord server. Hey, Aceville. Hey, Game Hey, Game Cats. Uh, hashtag viewer takeover. Hashtag it's a thing like a pro. I've always enjoyed listening to podcasts while gaming. PSVR, by its very nature, makes this fairly difficult. Borderlands 2, Ultra Wings, Drive Club, and Preta are the few that are great for this. Borderlands 2? I mean, I guess if you're just grinding or something, right? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, have you any podcast-friendly suggestions? Swipe. Yeah. Um, yeah, Borderlands 2, that's a that's an interesting choice. See, for me, like, there are some games where I can do that. Uh, the Affirmation Catch and Release. Yeah. You know, we talked about it during during our episode where I said I put on my own music. Actually, what I did was I put on some podcasts. Um, you know, for me, the, the podcast I like to listen to, I like to be a little more engaged in. Um, you know, and things like Radio Lab and whatnot and Hardcore History. So I want to be paying a little more attention. So I don't tend to listen to those while gaming um in general but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say uh catch and release is a it's a great option yeah or perfect i, I feel like you i feel like instead of putting in different music when you play yeah. perfect yeah you could like put in a different game <laughs> just saying yeah just saying i don't know uh, but but I mean, there's there's actually so many different games you could do this with. I think mm-hmm. Windlands is a great choice because like those are really big empty worlds, and yeah. and you go really long stretches mm-hmm. without hearing any story parts. Yeah. Um. So, and sometimes you you're gonna get through, you're gonna get to a part where it's difficult, and you're just gonna do this like platforming mm-hmm. section over and over, and right. and listening to something that you're enjoying would definitely help that along. I could see too. You know, as much as I I love the soundtrack, um, to the top. Especially if you're like, you know, there, there are times where you're trying to work and find like, you know, get that one particular thing over and over and over again, um, where that kind of music looping over and over again may get a bit much. And that's uh, another one where, again, you can kind of offload some of your mental energy into that. Um, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think you I listen to better podcasts. <laughs> I, 
I think it, I think Ace Phil's question is is interesting because uh, he says by its nature is not uh, kind of that makes it difficult to do this to yeah. listen to your own music or some Absolutely. podcast, and I think that's sort of true, but I only find that sort of true uh, when I'm playing multiplayer games. Because in, right. because multiplayer you're generally talking to other people, uh, and I'm playing a lot more multiplayer games because of PlayStation VR. But back, you know, before all this, mm-hmm. I mean, I play a lot of single player games, and I think there are very few single player games on PlayStation VR that wouldn't be fine with your own music and and podcasts and stuff. Yeah, for me, I, I think you get into a little bit of immersion breaking. Like I don't know. Oh sure, absolutely. So yeah, but if if that's your thing, then knock knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, I'm up. Uh, K27 asks on the Discord server. He says, hashtag viewer takeover. Uh, by the way, most of these questions are from last week when we didn't film an episode. So yeah. I apologize for like some of these being a little out of date uh, or for questions that you asked like two weeks ago that are finally getting answered. He writes, hashtag viewer takeover. Uh, likely has been asked before, but here goes anyway. I've been using my headset on the OG fat PS4 since I got it with no complaints, but I've been considering upgrading to the Pro. Is the difference worth it or should I just chill and wait for the PS5? Now, here's the thing. Hmm. We've been asked this question yeah. about should I upgrade to the Pro like countless times over the last year yes. or so. But now that the PS5 is actually a thing and, and Sony's Sony's strangely talking about it very publicly yeah, these yeah. days, uh, especially after that wired Mark Cerny inter- uh, interview. Um, so now we know it's like really close. It's on the horizon. It's it's de- it's not going to be this year, but it's probably going to be, my guess is November next year. Yeah. So now now that we're dealing with something different, like, should you upgrade to the Pro, or should you wait, especially knowing that it's backward compatible with PS4? Yeah, I'd say because, you know, I, I'm still on the OG myself, and Brian's on the Pro, and there are definitely games, like, let's bring up Zing again, yep. where it is it is night and day, oh, yeah. you know, and, like, I, I will still recommend Zing for the OG, but there's a huge difference between the two. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there, there are other games. Um, you know, Skyrim is the one we always kind of drag out as well. Monster um, of the Deep. Monster of the Deep. <laughs> A completely different game, playable actually in the pro. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, with the PS5 on the horizon, I would say if kind of budget is a concern for you, mm. I'm going to say hold off because there there is a difference. I'm not going to say there's not, but you know, gosh, you want to really drop what is it, two ninety nine, three ninety nine, four hundred dollars? Yeah, three. All right, three ninety nine right now, just to a year from now, have to spend God knows what. Yeah. yeah, when the Pro first launched, I was like, absolutely, get it. It makes a huge difference. Everything's great. I, but actually, if you go back to that episode, I didn't say that because it took yeah. me a while to realize. And because it, there wasn't that much of a difference. No, yeah. there, most there games didn't support it. Right. Not fully. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but here's the thing. The, there hasn't been a price drop for the PlayStation 4 Pro yet. Mm-hmm. And if you don't think one's coming this year, then you're crazy. Yeah. Right? So Sony wants to sell these things like 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 crazy, especially before they make that 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 real PlayStation 5 announcement. Right. They want to get as many of these things out there as possible now. So yeah. if you haven't bought one now because of financial reasons, mm-hmm. well, then then A, you're dealing with now like a smaller window, especially if you're planning on buying a PlayStation 5 at launch. That's a big question you have to answer for yourself too. Yeah. Are you going to wait two years to buy a PlayStation 5? If you are, then grab a Pro later this year when it goes on sale, right? Right, And, and then use it for a couple more years. Yeah. I don't know. That's my suggestion. Uh, it it is tough with the PS5 looming on the horizon. Mm-hmm. I, I I am definitely pre-ordering a PlayStation Five, um, but if if that's your plan and money is a concern, I'm with Des. Just wait. Yeah. All right. So next we have Fuzzy Panda one two three four YT. Yes, on the Discord server. Do you think he he typed in Fuzzy Panda? And it was like no. And he, they like he was like Fuzzy Panda one and it's like no. He's like Fuzzy <laughs> Panda one two no one two. <laughs> like this is a long process. That, that could be. That yeah. could be. Uh, so hashtag viewer takeover like a pro. Mm. So I'm going to expose myself, and that's it. He just trails off there. No, uh, I don't have a PSVR. It's okay. We love you anyways. I saw the channel and started obsessing about it. Well, that's okay, but all right. This obsession started in October, and just recently I saw the quest. And well, now I love them both, but can only have one because I'm not rich. Mm. I love the idea of the quest, but the games of the PSVR are unbeatable. So what do I do? So this is one of those questions that came in like two weeks ago. Yeah. He already owns a PSVR. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So moving on. You made an excellent choice, especially yeah. since the Quest reviews are now coming out. Yeah. There, there's a lot of hype about it, and I'm sure there's a lot it can do. Like, that was a very impressive video they showed with um, uh, Apex Construct yep. being played like an open soccer field. That's such a great idea. Right. But 
it's you, not exactly practical either though it's, yeah it's not exactly practical it's also you know just it's not it doesn't have the support it's not going to have the depth of the library it's just because you have you know you're you're cramming these games that have this you know are designed with this huge pc gaming rig into a, a mobile device basically so you've got power cooling all sorts of limitations on there and i'm sure it's going to be very cool and i'm sure it's going to be you know it'll knock your socks off if you try it for the first time but with the ps4 with the psvr We've got a huge library of games, more coming out, people developing specifically for it. Um, I mean, am I going to say no if one shows up at my door? No. Um, but am I going to drop the money on it? Uh, no. Yeah. The answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, and the fact is, is you know, I, I said the reviews aren't so great. Yeah. Uh, only because I think, I, I think Oculus didn't uh, temper people's expectations properly yeah they were basically this is the next big thing for vr well if, if you read their press it sounds like they're trying to say this is just as good as the oculus rift it's just portable which yeah. it can't be true no so he, so here's the thing it's like i think the quest is amazing and it's gonna mm. and it's going to help vr in all sorts of amazing ways yes. in terms of like getting it into the hands of so many people mm -hmm. so i think that is like what the quest is going to be really really good for yeah when it comes to playstation vr like dive in now man dive dive in now i know mm -hmm. fuzzy panda already did his thing yeah but like but man with the the everybody's golf bundle uh and if you especially if you already have a playstation 4 or playstation 4 pro to power this thing yeah then it, it's a no-brainer it's a, yeah. for a very low price of entry which is way less than we paid back when this thing came out mm -hmm. like by half yeah um and then uh then you're sitting pretty and all of the games you buy will be able to be played on your playstation 5 with your playstation vr headset the one you have right now so like it's it's not future proof but it's near future proof yeah which is a, a, a great thing to know when you're buying expensive pieces of hardware and, and the thing is too like why do i buy a gaming console to play games what has more games right now the ps4 ps4 well, what has more games is uh is an, is an excellent th i think i think what has the most the, or the best exclusives is where i want to go with this okay. right the play playstation has a ton of exclusives yeah uh and that that's that's sort of been why i've been a playstation guy for so long uh, i will always go where my favorite games are yeah and since 1995 playstation has had my favorite yeah. games so yeah. that's 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 the simple answer uh if you guys got a quest we'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments yeah. uh, i'm i'm kind of jealous that mm -hmm. i'm not going to be picking one up but man if, if somebody has one nearby that i could use i'd love to yeah, try it out yeah, absolutely i would love to give it a try yeah yeah and then finally, the last question comes from K Panic from PSVR Gamescast Live. Uh, he writes, hashtag viewer takeover, hashtag it's a VR thing. Ooh. Great show today. This is so long ago, I don't even know which show oh, it was. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah, right. It was it was from like a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, where uh, we made the top 20 list. Oh, right. The three-hour epic ah, saga. <laughs> uh, saga. People get mad at me when I say saga. Um, he said, couldn't make it. It's hard to see super hot that high. You guys didn't even see it that high initially. Maybe the top 20, but compared to all the other games on the top 10, even wipe out those games would knock super hot down. Question mark? Okay, so here's the thing. What? Uh, why, 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 why the hate for super hot? I think any game on the top 20 shouldn't get any hate at all, and I don't think he's hating on it. Yeah. I think he's just saying the other ones would be better than this one. I, I went back and looked at our top last top 20 list. Yeah. On one list, it was number five, mm -hmm. and on one list, it, and on two lists, it was number eight. Okay. So we've always we've always regarded it very highly. Yes. So the fact that it made our top ten is it shouldn't be any surprise. Right. The reason I added this to viewer takeover mm -hmm. is because I wanted you to be part of making this top twenty list. Yes. But man, time just got away from us. Yeah. And I didn't have time to make a list and, con and confer with you. Right. Before the live show, so right. I wanted to add this to yeah. ask what your thoughts about the top twenty list were. Were there any games on there that you definitely don't think should be there, or any games that you think should be there that weren't? Um. So, well, Catch and Release. <laughs> you don't think Catch and Release should have been on the top twenty? I, I, I really, I'm, I'm just, uh, just yeah. Saying, yeah. No, I, I. Hey, I tried to get Crisis for Gate on the top twenty. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's good. I don't know if it's top twenty good. No, I, th I think you guys did a, a pretty good job with that. Um. Yeah, I, I just don't understand. Like, where, where does I, Skyrim fall for you? Because I'm, up, I'm visibly upset mm. that skyrim didn't make the top five yeah so, so skyrim has always been a conundrum though because it's just like okay skyrim is great like skyrim was great before it came to vr yeah you know it was it was one of the, and then and now it's even better well yeah and that but that's the thing is, is it but like vr 
VR added the VRness to it, but it didn't change like the fundamental game itself. So that's why okay. I, I can see the argument for like, you know, there there are other games that have come out that are just like, you know, Wipeout, for instance. Yeah. Like Wipeout Flat versus Wipeout VR are two entirely different games. And I think even yeah. Borderlands with the with the aim support, right, adds so much immersion. Yeah. Um. And like. And as amazing as the VR in Skyrim is, and being able to like walk around and With you know the move controls especially, right? And you know I, I've said before that it's like you totally like play the game differently. Yeah. You know on flat screen I'm fast traveling everywhere. On VR I'm just I'm walking because it's just awesome. But it's not as much of a, a change in type as you know some other ones. So I can I could definitely see it like. It's weird, but it's also it's one of the best games ever made, anyway. So it's uh, I don't know. I guess it goes kind of to the core of like philosophically, what should be on the top tw- should it be on the top twenty list because it's just a good game or because it's a good VR game. Good game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I then think... it should be number one all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, thank you, Kate Panic, so much for your question. Actually, thank you everybody for your questions. Thank you, uh, Danish Gaming, for your viewer takeover introduction. Uh, thank you to all the Patreon supporters. Remember, if you want to uh, support us on Patreon, go to Patreon.com/slash/WithoutProGames. Oh, I said it that time. That was yeah, weird. you did. I didn't know if you were going to. Mm. I just kind of went into it. Uh, also, if you want to introduce next week's viewer takeover, I have one job on the show. Without pearl at gmail.com. Also, if you want to submit a viewer takeover question, head to our Discord server and add it to our viewer takeover channel, or in the comments, put hashtag viewer takeover. Uh, also, change your name to GameCat because you love us Yay. almost as much as I love you. And you want to represent. <laughs> that's it for another episode of uh, Viewer Takeover. I'm Brian, and that's Des, and we love you all. We end, up, so we end think, every episode with a lot of waving now. Yeah. yeah. I've always done the wave. Yeah. So do you think they're going to know I haven't actually watched the top 20 or have any idea what's on it? Oh, well, should, should I cut this out? Or no, that's in? fine. I'm leaving it in. Yeah. All right.